Hi, uh, Crystal here, another video, and I was going to talk about the Four Agreements because I am reading it currently and I'm, I'm finding it really interesting and I really do want to talk about it because uh, I've only gotten through the first agreement and it's really, really interesting and it was more than what I thought it would be. However, I ended up watching a documentary called uh, For the Love of Spock. Now, I had just a little background. I had gotten into the uh, Kickstarter for it. Uh, Leonard Nimoy's son uh, was going to do a documentary and he wanted to do it on his father and Spock and how uh, his life was and his relationship with his dad and everything. And uh, so I thought it was kind of a neat idea. Um, but the, the big reason that I did it was because um, backing up even further. Uh, it turns out about two, uh, 2012, 2013, uh, my friend Dave Keeler passed away. And he was the oldest friend that I had. Like, he's the friend that I knew the longest. Like, I met him way back, like, in kindergarten. And uh, so I, I've known him for a long time. And uh, there's a video on the web page. I'll put the link in for the... Um, uh, the uh, la, 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 uh, petition that his uh, sister had started and it was an excellent idea she wanted to get him honored at the uh, hockey game he was a Winnipeg avid Winnipeg Jets fan and very involved not just a fan he was in the papers everything anyway all of that stuff so when she told me about the petition I worked extremely hard to get uh, people of note to sign the petition and I did I got quite a few uh, quite a few signatures of people who you know are big in uh, you know famous I suppose and uh, and it was and I so appreciated them because I bugged them relentlessly and I don't usually do that and I'm not very forceful in that way um, but I, I thought it was really important it was more of my friend Dave it was it was really important that uh, I get him recognized in some way. He was just that important. So um, moving forward, uh, nothing really ever came of it. And, you know, whatever. It didn't work out. And I was really disappointed. And I kept thinking, well, what can I do? What can I do? Like, this mattered. And as most people know, my friends matter a lot to me. My family, obviously, first. And then now uh, my friends, my friends are amazing. I cannot say enough about them. And my, my friend Dave, I, I needed to do something. Um, uh, we had, a, we had a lot of friends pass away and in over a period of time when we were really young. And, uh, I, I always tell people that it's like, uh, I'm part of this, uh, veterans group or something. Because uh, we've been through a lot, not to minimize veterans in any way, because I know this is going out to the wider public. I don't mean it that way. It's just that uh, it's true because we went through the ringer as far as life goes. We've seen, I've seen friends suffer. Uh, I got a ton of friends, uh, guys that I, uh, I grew up with and, you know, I, they didn't have a choice uh, whether they got to live or go. They just you know, they were dealt the hand that they were given and a lot of them uh, handled it amazingly. And, uh, you know, you learn quickly that, uh, you know, life is not forever. I never had that moment where I thought that we were going to live forever. And my husband, uh, he hates when I say it, so it's a good thing he's not home right now. Um, he thinks it's sad and it is sad, I guess, but not really because for me, uh, I... If, if I don't do, if I don't enjoy life, then I feel like I'm doing them a disservice because they didn't have a choice to, to not, to not be here. And so I look at it that way. And I guess that's one of the things that I wanted to pass on through doing this website and all these videos is the fact that, uh, that I did learn a lot of things and that was one of them. However, uh, Dave had a disease that didn't, it was a little slower burning, although I knew he wouldn't make it to be a little old man, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, his death was still a shock. And uh, so, you know, I miss him terribly. However, uh, so it was, I was really disappointed um, that I couldn't do this for him. And after all the efforts that I did, his sister, his family, it was just disappointing that not, nothing came of it. And I kept thinking, you know, as the years went by after, uh, in the last five years, I thought, well, what, what can I do? And I, I, you know, even back in my mind, I didn't really know what I was going to do. And, uh, then this, uh, documentary comes along. So I saw it and, uh, Dave is a huge Star Trek fan. And as a matter of fact, what turned out to be a eulogy of sorts, it was just a, a note that I wrote on Facebook about him and, uh, I, I didn't expect it to be read at his funeral, really. Uh, it was such an honor to have it read. I, I was, you know, grateful to his family for that, but it was just something that I had on my mind. Anyway, so because of that, it made me think. And then when I saw the Kickstarter for the video for the love of Spock, uh, one of the things, if you donated a certain amount, uh, his name would show up in the credits. And I thought, oh my God. This is it. Now they're not going to talk about David. They're not going to say anything about him, but he is going to be a part of something that he loved. And hockey was one of them and Star Trek was the other. And I thought this is the opportunity that I have been waiting for. So uh, I didn't have a whole lot of money, but I was going to do it anyway. I didn't care. And I, uh, so I sent the money to the Kickstarter and then I, uh, I, I didn't know how it all worked. So, and I wanted to make sure that David's name showed up on the credits as what I gave the money for. And so I wrote them a big long spiel and everything. And, uh, it was nice that, uh, they wrote back and said, yes, there was a lot of people that wanted to not put their name on, but it was a memoriam to someone that they knew. And so I was re watching the documentary tonight and I was thinking about the, like I said the video I was going to make and I, it turned out that I you know David was on my mind so I thought well this is a good opportunity to explain that you know you get highly emotional with friends and things go wrong and uh, you know you think you've let them down and uh, but if you've tried the best that you can and it doesn't work out the way you think it's going to, you, I mean, obviously I was disappointed. I don't want to make it gloss it over as to, you know, that it was like, oh, you know, I had some kind of, I was really disappointed and I was really upset and, uh, cause that's how much he means to me. And, uh, but I just kept it in the back of my head. I kept thinking, you know, I, I, I gotta do something for him. I've got to do something. So that was when this opportunity, and I think if you keep things not in your head to bother you, but to be open to something that's going to come, not what you thought it would be or what you'd planned on it, that it might turn out better than you think. And so I, when I got this Kickstarter and I was watching it the first time, uh, it was actually in the middle of the night and I did take a screenshot with my phone and I just looked at it now and it's not very clear. So I'm going to, I've downloaded the movie and, uh, from the DVD and I'm going to, um, screen capture the, where David's name is. I'll put it in the comments or somewhere within vicinity of this video. Um, it, I, I just, it, was a small thing, but, um, oh. <laughs> I felt that I had done what I had, uh, <clears throat> what I had set out to do, which was to give him a memorial of something that he loved and that it would always be there. And in that way I had, uh, Ooh. I had fulfilled what I set out to do. <clears throat> and, uh, I, um, watching it again, <laughs> obviously it, 
took me back to that moment of, you know, being accomplished. And again, it was the middle of the night. So, um, I'm sitting there in the bed crying my eyes out by myself. And uh, I said to David, to myself that, and him that, you know, I did it. I, I did what I said I was going to do. And so it left me, uh, feeling very, uh, satisfied that I could do that for him. Oh, so, uh, the moral of the story, <laughs> um, you know, you, uh, people are important to us and we want to do something for them. And, um, we sometimes get wrapped up in what, uh, what it is that we want to do for them that we're so pigeonholed into one thing for one friends appreciate the effort. And I know that even though I wasn't able to get the NHL thing or, you know, that, I, um, that I was going to be able to do something. I just didn't know what, and I was really frustrated for a long time. And, you know, a lot of people may be frustrated with things that they're trying to accomplish and they're not getting the results that they want. And, and you've got to hang in there because as long as you're thinking about it, but not letting it get to you, you might run across the solution and it might not be what you had in mind, um, but it's still as equally as important. And I could hear Dave in my mind telling me, you know, Crystal, it's all right. You know, like you, you did your best. There's nothing more you could do. And, uh, and at the time there wasn't. Uh, so I was glad that this opportunity crossed my path and, uh, you know, it, uh, it answered the quest that I was after, which was to honor my friend. So when you, when you think about your friends and what you want to do and what you would like to do, and although I accomplished something, uh, the most thing that I think friends want to do and me as a friend is to know that people care about you and that they're there. And even if they can't do what it is that they want to do or that you want them to do, the fact that they care enough to even be thinking about you is really ultimately what matters. And um, so even if you're doing something right now and a friend and you can't do anything, just know that if they're a really good friend, they will know that you care and that is enough. And I've been through enough difficult situations in my past as well to know that, you know, there's a lot of people that say, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. And, you know, I'm really grateful to have people in my life that think that way. And even though you can't do anything for me for whatever reasons, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you're giving of your thoughts and your energy to me in a positive way and that's what I take in and that's what all friends take in because that's what they are and that's what friends mean and uh, so that was my uh, revelation for this evening was uh, friendship uh, it means the world to me and uh, it, all of my friends mean a great deal to me and I always tell them it doesn't matter how much time has passed I'm still the same person, and if you're the, still the same person, then it doesn't matter. We're, we're friends, you know, and uh, I, I love that about friendship. So there we go. Friendship. <laughs> uh, it's there to be enjoyed and uh, to be taken in, and yeah. So thank you. My friends are amazing. I am been blessed with a great deal of them and uh, more than most and that really makes me happy. So enjoy your friends and tell them that you care because that's what really matters is just letting them know that you love them. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon again. Bye bye. Please leave comments in the bottom if you want to hear anything or you just have something and say hi. <laughs> that would be great. All right. Thank you very much for listening.